it's Jesse Bourne and we're gonna be working on Jack in the Box Puzzle Production, my buddy Josh. Make sure to watch to the end of the video because we're gonna be showing you a laid out assembly of all the parts. It's not really an assembly, is it? So make sure to watch to the end of the video because we're gonna have a laid out sort of. Yeah, keep going. We're gonna show you exactly what's going into this box. Okay, so make sure to watch. <laughs> We're gonna have a revealing of all the components and parts to the puzzle box laid out for you so that you can figure out, um, uh, well, nothing really, because you're not gonna be able to. <laughs> the idea is just, just watch to the end of the video, trust me. beginning of the video that I would be showing you guys what's going into the puzzle box. Here is a box of basically complete set of parts to Jack in the Box. So anyways, you're not going to be able to tell how the box opens just from the part list because, you know, it's, it's slightly incomplete and you're just not going to be able to figure it out. So, you know, no need to like turn off the video. I think I, you know, anybody can watch this, but I just thought it would be interesting to see all of the components that go into Jack in the Box. So here we go. So we have our basic spade shape, spade cutout shape. Um, here we have the matching spade that goes in there. That'll be uh, laminated in like that. We have a couple parts here from Boy Coat. We have some catalogs parts. These are more for just the outside of the box. We have a couple of side pieces, an end piece. We're missing our white holly pieces, which are right here. These are the pieces that go around the border. And we have a couple of these pieces, which are also some more of the inlay. And a couple of ends. So basically, that is it. That's everything. We might be missing just a couple of those ends here. Here, a couple of these ends. All right, so basically that's it. That's everything that goes into the box. So we're missing a couple small things, but basically that's every component that goes into the puzzle box. Super interesting, right? Because, uh, because I like to keep it simple as much as possible, but I also want the puzzle to be just as complex as I want it to be. You know, you don't want the extra things. You don't want the flaws in design that you don't need. So anyway, there's all the part list. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon next time.